Someone. How old are you? Me. England's what? oldest man says. Oh, is that really what we're doing? <laughs> Someone. How old are you? Me. Doodle jump. How old are you? You remember this game that still exists? You remember this game from now? That's how old I am, buddy. England's we'll oldest man says key to reaching 111 is avoiding dying. Sigh. He has such a way with words. Hmm. When your mom leaves you at the counter and you're up next. A YouTuber got stream sniped. He was logging. Huh? Me muting my mic so my friends won't hear my mum shouting at me. The fastest hand in the west. How much would a trip to Spain cost? It depends where you live. For example, if you live in Spain, it's free. Well yes, but actually yes. When mum takes you shopping for 3 hours and says, we're going to another one after this. When your sister is crying about your parents divorce, but you just had a new me my dear. Please, I do not have time for your tears. This Believe meme not, is really making me feel old. Do you remember hard. time it keeps existing? It getting worse. And there's not really a for Sorry, real yeah, point of the, the game video. where, in fact, you could just keep playing and it would never stay the same difficulty. So the problem is, if you were to try to do this, you have to, of course, first of all, not be a human being. With Tetris, you would have Check. to have a different type of bot automatically playing the game because it would have to automatically learn how to play the game better and better and better as the game progressed because otherwise it would never be able to succeed. Luckily with Subway Surfers, we don't have to worry about that. How long will Subway Surfers actually go for? Or is there an actual part in the map of the infinite subway through infinite cities and buildings of where you simply can't go any farther? Because once upon a time, that children, guy's actually ladies in the and game? gentlemen, the I common didn't even people also him. around us used to believe in the mythical infinite Minecraft world before we realized that there actually wasn't an in infinite Minecraft world and it was just simply flat forever until 30 million blocks which isn't forever so i lied so is that the same thing with subway surfers obviously when it comes to the points of the game you can only get to a certain level where eventually the points would just stop being added and in fact they would just start reversing because after what? the 32-bit limit the game can't count how many points you've actually achieved anymore so it'll just start having an epileptic seizure and then after a while start reversing back down to zero and then negative 2 billion points. Theoretically, Whoa. we could keep playing the game, the same thing with any other sandbox map that's procedurally generated. The game client itself would have to keep account of all the stuff that you've seen and write it onto your hard drive file. But with this game, it's basically just an overlapping, looping, random generation of, of a certain events that take place over and over again. Tetris, on the other hand, has a level where the game will simply no longer function. But that's not because the game's not capable of functioning, it's just because the only things that could actually run the game, at least the original version of the game itself, simply will not be able to handle the complexity of events taking place anymore, and the game will just crash. On your pager or whatever that you used back then? I have no idea. But basically, we can assume that, in fact, Subway Surfers will also have a point where no return will happen as well. So I did an experiment of what happens when you actually manipulate the game's code, to being able to actually teleport you to a place where the game registers that you've actually done over 50 different cycles of going from 2 billion points to negative 2 billion points. Oh the God. game actually thinks that you've achieved around 100 total billion cycles or points. And what happens when you do that is that there's a special cutoff point where the game will no longer generate anything. Mm. And you'll pretty much just be stuck in the sky, just running forever but the points themselves will no longer register at all. Why it happens at this specific point, around 50,000 cycles of hitting 2 billion points over and over again, I have no idea. But I believe that it just might be written into the random generation code of the game to not even bother to do anything after that point, because, quite literally, the universe would have ended in its heat death before any actual person would have been able to play that far. That's around 100 billion points, times 2 because each cycle is around 4 billion points, so you'd actually have to play the game and achieve 4 billion points regardless of what multiplier point setting you're on in order to get to the point where the subway surfers map or generation whatever it's called and you'll just be floating in midair in the void forever never to see anything or even the probably emasculated and mummified body of the still running and chasing after you security guard who has now at this Step point that. probably just dissolved into a black hole or something so that is in fact That's how long you can play mom. subway surfers for 
at the maximum playing rate of Subway Surfers when you have a times 30 multiplayer, it would take approximately 32 years to reach that level. So Whoa. my stream would actually have we to keep going to that. Let's start a stream. to the point where I physically could not play the game anymore. Um, now, however, I have not tested this on the old version of the game, which it, my stream is actually running on. I've only tested this on the new versions. So theoretically, it might be less or more on the old versions. I really don't know. But the point is, that's how long you could play Subway Surfers for 32 years. <laughs> which is not forever, but that's still kind of a, a little bit of time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know what I'm and doing if you want to spend 32 years of your life trying to get to the edge of the map of Subway Surfers on your own. And my live stream, which is somehow already about to end, is going to end really soon. Go ahead and check that out as well if you're interested. Just see it in its final days and its final moments soon to come. And then with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Lit. Dude, I want to play Subway Surfers for 30 years straight. That'd be freaking sick. What a flex. Shout out the Tekken, the Tekkit Realm for that video. That was really cool. Um, but yeah, it was interesting. Thank you guys for freaking watching this video. Uh, hit the like button if you're watching this as a YouTube video later. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, click one of these videos around my head next if you if you want to, basically. And I'll see, I'll see you next time. Thanks for, oh, goodbye.